My second misgiving about Islam is that it has a historically inadequate conception of Jesus. According to the Quran, Jesus was not divine, but merely a human prophet. The Quran says, they are unbelievers who say, God is the Messiah, Mary's son. The Messiah, son of Mary, was only a messenger. The Quran goes on to imagine the following dialogue between God and Jesus. God said, Jesus, did you say to men, take me and my mother as gods? Jesus answers, no, I only said serve God, my Lord and your Lord. This passage evidently embodies the misunderstanding that the Christian Trinity is supposedly comprised of God the Father, Mary, and their offspring, Jesus, a view which no Christian would affirm. The Quran also states that Jesus was not, in fact, crucified. It says, Jews say, we slew the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of God. Yet they did not slay him, neither crucified him, but only a likeness of that was shown to them. Later, Muslim tradition says that Judas was mistakenly crucified in Jesus' place. Now, obviously, either the New Testament or the Quran hasn't got its facts straight here. They can't both be right. Both claim to be divinely inspired. So you can't settle the issue by appealing to that. So we must simply ask ourselves the question, which is more apt to be historically reliable? A collection of documents which was written down within the first generation while the eyewitnesses were still alive, or a book written 600 years later by a man who had not even any first-hand contact with the New Testament. Why, to ask the question is to answer it. The primary source document is clearly the documents of the New Testament. And in fact, legendary stories about Jesus have found their way into the pages of the Quran. I'm referring to stories about Jesus which are found in the so-called apocryphal gospels. Uh, these are forgeries which appeared in the second and third centuries after Christ and which the Quran unwittingly repeats as facts. For example, the Quran mentions the story borrowed from the apocryphal infancy gospel of Thomas of how the boy, Jesus, made a bird out of clay and then made it come to life. The story of Jesus' birth is also fancifully embellished in the Quran. Jesus comes out of Mary's womb talking and expounding Islamic theology. Here's how the Quran describes Jesus' birth. When Mary felt the throes of childbirth, she lay down by the trunk of a palm tree, crying, Oh, would that I had died! But a voice from below cried out to her, Do not despair! Your Lord has provided a brook that runs at your feet, and if you shake the trunk of this palm tree, it will drop fresh ripe dates in your lap. Therefore rejoice, eat and drink. Carrying the child, she came to her people, who said to her, Mary, you have surely committed a monstrous thing. Your father uh, was not a wicked man, nor was your mother unchaste. She made a sign to them, pointing to the child. But they replied, How can we speak to a babe in the cradle? Whereupon he spoke and said, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the gospel and ordained me a prophet. His blessing is upon me wherever I go, and he has commanded me to be steadfast in prayer and to give alms to the poor as long as I live. He has exhorted me to honor my mother and to pur has purged me of vanity and wickedness. I was blessed on the day I was born. Blessed shall I be on the day of my death. And may peace be upon me on the day when I shall be raised to life. I think it's painfully obvious that this story has been rewritten in light of Islamic theology. Equally unreliable from a historical point of view is the Quran's allegation that Jesus was not in fact crucified. A fact which even Robert Funk, the chairman of the Radical Jesus Seminar, recognizes as, and I quote, one indisputable fact about Jesus. It seems very clear then that the Quran presents us with a historically inadequate and therefore inaccurate picture of Jesus. For these and other reasons, even if I were not a Christian, I still could not become a Muslim. There's just no good reason to think that the Islamic conception of God is true.